Section 62 of Stories and Pictures. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by April 6090, California, United States of America. Stories and Pictures by I. L. Peretz. Translated by Helena Frank. Section 62. The Image. Great people have been known to do great wonders. Witness the time when they attacked the ghetto in Prague, and were about to assault the women, roast the children, and beat the remainder to death. When all means of defense were exhausted, the Maharal, footnote, the great rabbi Loeb, who lived in the sixteenth century and who became the central figure of many a legend, end of footnote, laid down the Gemara stepped out into the street and went up to the first mud heap outside the door of a schoolmaster and made a clay image he blew into its nostril and it began to move then he whispered a name into its ear and away went the image out of the ghetto and the maharal sat down again to his book the image fell upon our enemies who were besieging the ghetto and threshed them as it were with flails they fell before him as thick as flies Prague was filled with corpses. They say the destruction lasted all Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, at noon, the image was still at it. Rabbi, exclaimed Cahol, the image is making a clean sweep of the city. There will be no one left to light the fires on Sabbath or to take down the lamps. Footnote. No Gentile to be hired for that purpose. End of footnote. A second time, the Maharal shut his book he took his stand at the desk and began to chant the psalm a song of the sabbath day whereupon the image ceased from work came back to the ghetto entered the synagogue and approached the maharal the maharal whispered into its ear as before its eyes closed the breath left it and became once more a clay image and to this day the image lies aloft in the prague synagogue covered up with cobwebs that stretch across from wall to wall and spread over the whole arcade so that the image shall not be seen above all not by the pregnant women of the women's court and the cobwebs may not be touched whoever touches them dies no man not the oldest there recollects having seen the image but the shasham zebai the maharal's grandson sometimes wonders whether for instance such an image might not be included in one of the ten males required to form a congregation the image you see is not forgotten the image is there still but the name with which to give it life in the day of need has fallen as it were into a deep water and the cobwebs increase and increase and one may not touch them what is to be done end of section sixty two end of stories and pictures by i l peretz translated by helena frank